19th October 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Batada Madhupan Sweet children never miss the study you will have an interest in studying when you have unbroken faith in the father who is teaching you only the children whose intellects have faith are able to do service question on hearing what news of the children does papa the became very pleased answer when children write their service news baba today i explained to so and so and gave him the introduction of the two fathers and that this type of service baba became very pleased to read such letters baba's stomach doesn't become full on receiving letters of just love and remembrance and your well-being baba is pleased to see his helper children this is why you should do service and write that news to baba song come mother let us go om shanti you children know that you have to go from this world of thrones to a world of flowers the golden age world would be called one of divine flowers In the iron age human beings are like thrones the distress and content to cause sorrow for one another you children are now happy come let us now go to our land of happiness and the wine flowers you also have to understand the secret of how you go there you will go there when you study very well first of all you need to have faith as to who it is who is teaching you Thus, things are not written in the Vedas or scriptures. Although Raju guides mention in the Gita, there is the study for a kingdom, and so surely the kingdom would be given in the golden age. First of all, you have to have faith in the one who is teaching you. That one is not a sage, holy man, or human being. That one is the incorporeal. The father of all souls is the supreme father the supreme soul only those who are to have faith as they did in the previous cycle will have this faith you can see that in order to go to the heavenly world of flowers each one of you has to make your own effort only when you first have this faith will you engage yourselves immediately in studying this they have written in the scriptures god krishna speaks together with that they have also written the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra these are matters of knowledge people have then given a bamboo flute to shri krishna there is also the praise there is godly magic in your flute there cannot be godly magic in a bamboo flute that murli can be played with a mouth people only show the childhood of shri krishna and how they play games among themselves thus things are worth understanding your children have understood that this truly is raj yoga that is it is yoga with the one who teaches you the study of how to claim the kingdom he personally comes here and teaches you there is no question of a bamboo flute and thus thus things are unique no one knows that in corporal god himself comes and teaches us they also say of shri krishna that there is godly magic in his flute so khuda means god must be someone else shri krishna would not be called khuda khuda is khuda he alone is called the magician the magician himself comes and shows you his magic and grants you visions even then he teaches you to claim a high status mira too saw paradise and dance there but she didn't study raj yoga the things of raj yoga are not mentioned in any of the scriptures there was no one to teach mira mira's name is mentioned in the rosary of devotees thus is the rosary of knowledge there is the difference of day and night you have understood that 
you will become elevated to the extent that you take this knowledge there truly is also the rosary of devotees and that is number wise their names are very well known no one has this knowledge so you should explain to them it is the father who is the authority who gives you this knowledge it is said of him that he created brahmans through the lotus mouth of brahma and told them the essence of all the vedas and scriptures because shri baba is incorporeal you cannot give him scriptures so he explains the scriptures through brahma this method has been created however it is only that one who explains all of these things it is shown that all the essence is related through brahma so there must surely be someone else who explains all of this you are now seeing in a practical way that shri baba who is the ocean of knowledge is also our baba and that he is now personally sitting in front of you he only comes in bharat and he definitely enters someone's body it is the body of brahma it is necessary for there to be prajapita brahma the father truly comes and establishes the brahman relation through prajapita brahma how is the religion created you also know this you are the children of brahma in a practical way you say that you are brahmans and that you are claiming your inheritance from the father followers cannot claim an inheritance it is children who claim the inheritance from the father you have come and pick him his unlimited children they are said to be followers of christ not his children buddha and guru nanak also have followers and not children here you are children prajapita is your father and shri baba is also your father that one is incorporeal and thus one the corporeal one is separate shri baba has created your children through this corporeal one among you two some have firm faith whereas others don't the lottery is very big you have to act for the livelihood of your bodies and also study this knowledge you have to make a lot of effort in those studies here too the father says definitely study for an hour or half an hour acha if for any reason you cannot study every day first study for 7 days and then continue your studies on the basis of the murli once you have understood the aim you then have to understand the branches twins leaves etc all of those are included in the cycle the secret of 84 births has also been explained to you the picture of the tree has the details whereas the picture of the cycle shows everything in a nutshell it is also explained to you that these are the relations of the right human world at first there is one relation and then expansion takes place how the foundation emerges is also shown in the tree this is such an easy secret you have to understand the drama and the tree your intellect should embed this and then you can explain to others you definitely have to explain the point of the two fathers you receive self sovereignty from the unlimited father and you therefore definitely have to study raj yoga only the supreme father the supreme soul establishes heaven and that is also called the land of krishna the land of krishna cannot be established and the land of kans means the devil and thus is why there is the confluence age thus is the confluence age for your children whereas it is the iron age for everyone else you are the only ones who will go from the confluence age to the golden age you have to have this faith we are now at the confluence age if you remember the confluence age you will also remember the golden age and also the father who establishes the golden age 
However, you repeatedly forget this. You understand that you are now at the confluence age. The unlimited father comes at the confluence age of the cycle. They have made a mystic and the Gita. It is only the Bhagavad and the Mahabharat that have a connection with the Gita. The father explains, all of you are Sitas and I am Ram. You are in the Lanka of the kingdom of Ravan, not the other Lanka. It isn't that there was a kingdom of Ravan there. There is no Lanka etc. in the golden age. Over there means in Sri Lanka, they have the Buddhist religion. The Buddhist religion has now spread a lot. It has been explained to your children that Bharat was totally pure. There was peace and happiness. There was just the one deity religion. First of all, you have to have the firm faith that he is your unlimited father and that you have to claim your inheritance from him. You must never miss a chance to make effort. How can you make effort if you don't have faith? It is certain that the father is teaching us and that we are receiving our inheritance of heaven and constant happiness from him. You would not sit in a school without faith or an aim and objective, would you? There are many subjects there and so there is a margin. Here, there is just the one subject. Such a big kingdom is established through the one subject. Those who don't study will have to bow down in front of those who did study. Among the subjects too, those with a low status will have to bow down in front of the good subjects. The subjects are also number-wise. Some are poor and others are wealthy. One cannot be the same as the another. Such is this drama. The features of all human beings are fixed in the drama for them to play their parts. These are such deep matters. They have to be embedded and explained accurately. Not everyone can explain them. Such a good things are explained to you. There is victory by having faith. Only when you have faith will you study. The intellects of some develop doubt and they stop studying. Maya is so great that she immediately creates storms and brings doubts. Those whose intellects have doubt are led to destruction. Those who ascend test the nectar of heaven. Whereas those who fall are totally crushed to pieces. There is a lot of difference. If someone falls, he becomes a cremator. Whereas if he ascend, he becomes an emperor. Everything depends on how you study. Did you ever hear how the incorporeal became the teacher? You are now listening to Shibaba. You have the faith that I am your father, the purifier and also the knowledgeful one. You have to have the faith that you have to become the rulers of the globe by studying this knowledge. It is in your having faith that mind creates obstacles. Your enemy is standing in front of you. You know that Maya is your enemy. She repeatedly deceives you. She makes you have doubts in the study. Many children develop doubts and then stop studying. When you stop studying, it means that you leave the father, teacher and Sadhguru. Those gurus continue to change. They have many gurus. This one is the only Sadhguru. This one doesn't praise himself. The father gives his own introduction. Devoted sing salutations to Shiv. You are the mother and father. However, they don't know anything. They simply content to chant this and worship him. You now know who Shiv is. After Shiv, there is Brahma and Saraswati. Lakshmi and Narayan come after them. First Chibaba and then Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. The father says, I first of all enter Brahma. I create him first. Establishment takes place through Brahma and then Brahma becomes Vishnu and sustains it. You should note down all of those points and you should then try and explain them to others. Some explain very well. 
It is a completely different matter for Baba. Sometimes Shubhav explains and sometimes Dasman explains. You must always think that it is Shubhava who is explaining to you. Your sins are absolved by remembering Shubhava. Just consider it to be Shubhava who is giving you new points through this one. He explains with great tact. So, you children should also understand. First of all, you have to have faith. Even in seven days, someone can be colored very well. However, Maya too is very clever. First of all, you have to have the faith that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is the creator of heaven and so he would surely have taught us Raj Yoga. Shri Krishna cannot teach it. He has to come in the golden age. Shri Baba is the creator of heaven. Someone may say that he entered the body of Shri Krishna. However, Shri Krishna cannot come in that form at this time. He has to come in the golden age. Baba doesn't take birth through anyone's womb. He enters the body of this one and gives his introduction as to why he named him Brahma. He plays his part from the beginning to the end. You too were given very good names. So many children's names came. It was a wonder that the names of 200 to 250 names came instantly. Even the Brahmins here cannot give that many names. The trans messenger instantly brought those names. The unlimited father gave you those names. It was a wonder. The father is wonderful and your aim and objective is wonderful. You will become the kings of kings. The picture of Lakshmi and Narayan is very clear. About them, there is a very accurate picture of the Trimurti. They definitely have to take 84 boats. At the end of the Iron Age, they are impure. And at the beginning of the Golden Age, they are pure. Your children have to give the proof of the service you do. Baba, we have also had the small leaflets printed. At the top, there should be shift and then the introduction of the Trimurti and the two fathers. This point should definitely be there. Have such leaflets printed. Do a lot of service and give Baba the news. For only then will you be able to climb into the father's heart. Don't just write a letter about your well-being to Baba. But do service and write that service news. Baba, I did this and that service. Baba's stomach will not become full by your just sending your love and remembrance. Today I explained to so and so. Today I served my husband and he became very happy. You should write news of such a service to Baba. The point of the two fathers is the main one. The unlimited father is the one who gives you your fortune of the kingdom of heaven. You are such a sweet children. The father explains, all of you are adopted children. All of you, many children can only be adopted children. Those people are followers of that religion. Here you are children. The father is also pleased to see such children. All of you are my children. You are now playing your final parts. You have become my companions to help me establish heaven. This is Rudra. Shiv Baba sacrificial fire of knowledge in which the horse is sacrificed for receiving a kingdom. How does Shri Baba carry out the establishment of heaven? First of all, he creates the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra through Brahma and the Brahmins and then heaven is established through them. So, it is surely you Brahmins who have to look after the sacrificial fire. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children, the spiritual children says, Namaste 
and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point let your intellect have faith and definitely study never have any doubts about any situation victory is guaranteed when you have faith second point become a companion of the father and a complete helper in establishing heaven become a true brahman who looks after the sacred fire blessing may you move along while recognizing the philosophy of karma as an embodiment of knowledge and become free from any bondage of karma explanation some children become forceful and put aside everything they move away and become detached with their bodies but because there are still some karmic accounts in their minds there is a pull their intellects are pulled thus becomes a big obstacle therefore even if you want to move away from anyone first of all have it verified by an instrument soul because this is the philosophy of karma when you break away forcefully your mind is pulled to it again and again so recognize the philosophy of karma as an embodiment of knowledge and have it verified you will then easily become free from any bondage of karma slogan remain set on your seat of self respect and maya will send her herself to you om shanti